All right, so we're back on the PS4. Now, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak the highest jailbreakable firmware on the PS4. So, uh, this is not going to be the highest software that's currently out, like that Sony put out. So, uh, let me just clarify that real quick. This is going to be how to jailbreak the highest jailbreakable. So, I think like the highest PS4 software right now is 9.04. So, uh, if we go into our system, go to system information, you'll see your system version. So, uh, most likely if you're online right now with your console like you could play uh, GTA or Call of Duty whatever online then your console is most likely either on 9.03 or 9.04 which is the current highest uh, software so uh, the highest software that you can jailbreak is this one right here so 9.00 so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that uh, in this video it's, it's pretty easy to do. I got some comments asking how to jailbreak, so that's pretty much the first step, I guess, if you want to say. Uh, you just need a PS4 that's on version 9.00. You can't just do this on any PS4. I mean, technically you can, it just can't be on the most updated software. Now, before we actually do get into this, if you guys could go down below and drop a like, I would appreciate that. And if you guys do want to see more types of videos like this, subscribe, I would appreciate that as well. Uh, but besides that, let's just go ahead and hop into this. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do here is get a couple of files and put them on a USB. So you're going to need a USB and a PC, obviously, uh, just for one time. So let's just say uh, you do have a PS4 that's on version 9.00 and you want to jailbreak it. You're not going to need the computer every time. You're just going to need the USB, though. So uh, let's just go ahead and switch over. I'm going to switch to PC and I'll show you guys real quick what to do. All right, so once we're on the PC, make sure your USB is plugged in. Uh, once it is, we're going to format it just to make sure everything works properly. So if you have anything uh, important in your USB, just create backups of it and drag it to your desktop so you don't lose it. Because uh, this will erase everything from the USB. So just right click on the USB, click format. And uh, also make sure this says FAT32. Uh, once you have that there, just go ahead and click on start. Just go ahead and click OK. It's just telling you it's going to erase everything. So uh, just go ahead and let that load. All right, so there we go. Just click OK. And then close so now we have a clean USB to actually uh, put the file that we're gonna need into this so uh, I have the link down below the first one is the jailbreak itself so just go to this link right here uh, and then just click on xfat.img so just click on that and then click download so there we go we have it downloaded right here at the bottom left so now we're also gonna need win 32 disk imager so so just go to the link click the green download button and then just wait for the timer to count down, and then that's pretty much it. Alright, so I got the jailbreak file and the Win32 disk right on my desktop. You can do the same thing if you want. I'll just go ahead and open Win32 disk. You're going to have to install this real quick, so just go ahead and do that. Like I said, you're only going to need the PC one time. Uh, it's just that you need this program to get the file to your USB. So just go ahead and just install it, and then once it's done installing, open it up. Alright, so we got it opened here, so all you're going to have to do is make sure uh, where it says device is set to your USB. So my USB is E. So just make sure it's your USB letter. Uh, you don't want to do D or C because that's your PC, obviously. So just make sure whatever letter is in a parentheses next to your USB uh, is set to right here. So E. Uh, and then from here, just browse to the jailbreak file, which I have on my desktop. So I'm just going to browse to it real quick. Uh, so here it is. Click on it. Click open. And then from here, just click right. Now you're going to get this warning. Just go ahead and click yes. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty quick too, so that's that's all it is. Right, successful, click OK, and then click exit. We are done. We can now uh, unplug the USB and go back to the PS4. All right, so we're back on the PS4. Now, what we're going to need to do here is go into our settings. We're going to be pretty much uh, adding custom network connection here uh, with the DNS so we can actually access the exploit page. So uh, just go into your settings, then go to the network, click on set up internet connection, Click whatever one you want to use. I mean, this console can't get online anyway, so it doesn't matter. So just go ahead and click whatever you're using. From here, just go ahead and click custom. So now it's going to load up your Wi-Fi. Just go ahead and pretty much enter the password for that. All right, so now we're at IP address settings. So from here, just click automatic. DHCP host name, click do not specify. Now DNS settings, this is the main part we needed to get to. So just click manual. And now just copy the DNS settings I'm going to be putting in right now. All right, so we got the primary and secondary DNS. Go ahead and pause the video and uh, put these in on your console as well. Then click next. Now from here, click automatic. Proxy server do not use. And the internet settings updated. We don't have to test the internet connection since this console can't access online anyway. So just back out of it. Uh, now from here, just go into your internet browser and you should have an exploit page that loads right up. So uh, if you don't, just go ahead and click on the... 
uh, the top here where it says enter URL and just go ahead and put this URL uh, that I have on this page at the top here. So just go ahead and uh, do that. Or in this case, the exploit page actually did load for me. I thought I was going to have to manually put one. So either way, if it loads, if it doesn't load, I'll uh, just go ahead and put the one that I recommend. So I do recommend this one right here. So you could use the default uh, exploit page if you want. But like I said, uh, this is the one I use. So once you have this loaded, you're pretty much done. I mean, the console is uh, ready to fully jailbreak now. So uh, this is where we're going to need the USB. So from here, just click on gold hen v2. Now, once you do click it, we should get a USB alert that's just telling us to plug in the USB. So that's when we're going to need to plug the USB in. Make sure the USB isn't plugged in just yet until you get the alert. Alright, so there we go. We got the alert. Let me plug the USB in. Alright, so once you plugged in the USB, we should get a notification. There it is. Uh, this USB storage device file system is unsupported. If it says that, that's normal. So just go ahead and click OK. And then it should say jailbreak done. That's how you know it obviously worked. Now it says remove USB stick and click OK. I honestly keep the USB stick in on mine. So like while I use the jailbreak, the USB is still plugged in. Uh, you can unplug it, but I just keep mine in until I shut the console off. Then I unplug it and then I repeat that same process when I go into the exploit page to rerun the jailbreak. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it from here. We are now jailbroken. So if we go into our settings, we'll have some custom settings here like gold hen at the top. Also, if we back out of here, go all the way down to the bottom of settings, we'll have debug settings. This is where uh, we're going to install package files and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. That is how you jailbreak a PS4 on version 9.00. So I'll show you guys again. Uh, system information uh, gold hen v2.0 and also it says system software hen 9.00 so that's pretty much it that's how you jailbreak the ps4 on the highest jailbreakable firmware it is different on older firmwares in fact i believe this software that we're on 9.00 is the only software uh, that requires the usb so uh, either way if you guys did enjoy this drop a like i would appreciate it if you guys are new subscribe i would appreciate that as well and uh, that's pretty much it so i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace out.